Okay, so we are going to talk about the next step where you should be in your process, which is planning the structure of your composition. So at this point, you should have one idea that you're ready to run with. You should have discussed this to some extent with other classmates in the collaboration zone, and perhaps you talked to me a little bit about it too. Um, but you should have one good idea that you're ready to run with. And as I said before, there are th more than three ways to do this, but I'm going to show you three different ways to start planning the structure um, and brainstorming how you're going to organize this. So um, in my first overview video, I talked about three ideas that I had, and I kind of narrowed it down to, I think I'm going to write about when I lost and found my dog. So I'm going to run with that so that I can show you um, different ways that I could plan this. Okay, so this is a formal outline. And the way that this works is um, it's broken up by, the big ideas are broken up with these Roman numerals, which is like, like a capital I is a Roman numeral one, this is a Roman numeral two, three, four, five, and six. So oftentimes when you do a formal outline, each one of these Roman numeral groups is like a paragraph. You could think of it that way. Um, mine might end up being more than six paragraphs, but maybe these are just the, the main ideas. So the first one is just information about my dog, okay, that's important to the story. The second one is kind of some rising action that happened. Um, I had a baby and all of that that went along with that. The third one, more rising action that my dog got lost, and all of the things that happened around him getting lost. And then the fourth major point is when we found him, I would consider that to be the climax of the story. Um, and then five, some uh, falling action. I gave him 100 kisses. I didn't count them, but it was about that. And then the last major idea is kind of like the resolution, what I discovered through this experience, which is never to ignore the dog. So this is what a formal outline looks like. This may or may not appeal to you, um, but if so, feel free to use that. This is the same exact story, just uh, planned a different way. And this is kind of a bubble map. So in the middle, this big circle is like the main idea of the story that I lost my dog. Okay, and everything that shoots off of this is um, a major idea. And then all of the ideas that connect to that idea. So the first major idea, just like on the outline, is my dog, some information about him. He's energetic, which means he needs a lot of attention. He's an escape artist, okay? The next major idea is that I had a baby. I got very busy, got forgetful. I had less time for the dog. My husband returned to work. The dog kept barking and waking up the baby, so he was sent outside a lot, okay? So you can see how these ideas connect, by which lines are connecting which ideas, okay? The next big idea is over here, is that one day I realized he was gone, I called my husband, and he called his mom to come help, and we drove around searching while I was freaking out with a little baby, okay? And then we have our climax here. We found him, he was playing in the neighbor's yard, I kissed him a lot, I vowed never to forget him outside again, so this is the exact same ideas and storyline. It's just a different way of looking at it. Different people like to look at things differently and plan things differently. So I wanted to show you that that's another way. The last way, which is probably what I would suggest the most, just because it makes it ensures that you're including all of the plot elements, is to actually draw it out on a little plot pyramid. So all I did was draw a little pyramid that looks very much like this. Okay, so I jotted that down and then I wrote all of my ideas on here where they would belong on the plot pyramid. You might put your climax first, okay? The most exciting point of no return is when I found my dog. So I put that on here first. Here is the exposition. So what's all the information we need to know to get the story started? We need to know the personality traits of my dog that led to him getting lost, okay? And then we have all this rising action. I had a baby, the dog wakes the baby, I started leaving him outside more, my husband returned to work, the dog got lost, and we hunted all over for him. Then we have the falling action here, and then the resolution. So I'm going to attach a link to this slideshow so you can look through these um, a little bit closer and decide which one that you want to use as you plan your story.